What is up guys, long awaited tutorial and today I'm gonna break it up for you. How I am doing the one handed release, also called the mic release. To simplify it for you, we're gonna divide it into three parts. And part number one. Before even thinking about doing a mic release, you should be able to have a little bit of tiny rope control. What this rope control means. The rope control means that you can hold it like this from the floor. Now, I'm gonna show you how we are going to build this up for you. Throw a handle on the floor, all right? Now, we're gonna start with a big swing like this, rotate the rope and slowly increase the speed of the rotation, just like this, all right? Perfect. Now, there are two tips, there are two things you need to keep in mind while doing this. Always, whenever you're right-handed, we rotate the rope clockwise because if you're right-handed we're gonna release it from the left side so that means clockwise rotation if you're left-handed then the opposite so now the second thing you need to keep in mind is now whenever you start the rotation always point your hand and wrist downwards just like this so start the swing pointing down downwards in a circle with a big swing and increase the speed. So, remember, practice makes perfect, so keep on doing it and do this at least three to five minutes before every training. Part number two, handle positioning. First of all, we always start from a swing position and hands should be in front of us, just like this, because we need to generate the speed from the first swing, just like this, so you have enough tension and the rope will continue to rot rotate itself. After the swing, we're going to do the 90 degrees positioning. That means, imagine you're a butler with the right hand, because I'm a righty, holding a towel, just like this. 90 degrees elbow and the hand is in front of us. Okay, the left hand goes on top, on top on the right hand with the handle positioning starting wherever the handle starts the, the wrist starts I'm gonna show you once again I'm gonna come closer just like this this is how it looks like swing both of our arms 90 degrees 90 degrees on top here is the 90 degree elbow and here is the 90 degree butler elbow <laughs> just like that now wherever the handle starts the wrist starts and that's it swing position so now, here comes the third and the hardest part. At the same time, the handle touches the wrist, you need to release the handle, push forward, move the hand diagonally with a triple rotation of the wrist. Now, why triple rotation? We need to continue the momentum of the rope and keep the tension while rotating the wrist. So, this is how we're gonna do it. Now, as soon as you release, push forward, the first rotation is gonna be at the same time you push forward, there is a quick wrist rotation over here. After that, we continue the pattern with the second bigger rotation over here. And the third rotation will gonna be to the body and back to the hip. So, now I'm gonna play it once again on a slow motion. One, two, three. One, two, three. So, when you do everything correctly, the released handle will come straight back to your hand. You just need to keep your hand just like this near the hip and stretch it whenever the, com the handle comes. Okay, so this is it. Swing, hand positioning, one, two, three. That's it. So, whenever we are doing the release, you need to keep your hand moving diagonally and bring it back to the hip. One, two, three. Once again, one, two, three. Guys, this exercise takes some time, but I've seen people learning it for a day. So, practice makes perfect. So, I hope you like the tutorial, guys. And if you do, please click that like and subscribe button. And if you have any questions, just blast them out in the comments. Until the next time. Oh, and also, if you want the best rope, you can go at www.swisskip.ch. Bye-bye.